For this video, I will be showing you how to navigate your Libby shelf. First, open up your Libby app. Now, on the icons on the bottom for navigation, this time we'll be focusing on the two on the right. That is your bookshelf and your history. The history is pretty straightforward. Uh, it shows your checkout history and your hold history. It does not show your search history. So you won't be able to go back and say, what was I searching for yesterday that I really enjoyed, or I found an interesting book. It won't show that. However, it is convenient for showing you your past checkouts and holds. So for example, if you have a book that you read last March that you really enjoyed, but you don't remember what it was called or who the author was, this is a convenient way for you to go back and see what that book was. The shelf, this which is the two books stacked on top of each other, is where you have your loans, your holds, and your tags. Tags are a convenient way for you to mark books. So for example, a wish list or something like that. So feel free to create your own tags. And then as you're searching, it makes it easier to go back and find certain tags. For example, a, a read and didn't like list or a wish list. Your loans are the items you have currently checked out. If you want to open the item, you can either click open in Libby right here, or you can click on the item itself in order to open it directly. Under Manage Loan is where you can edit the status of your loan. For example, Read With, that would be to change it to Kindle. If you prefer to read on a Kindle app or on a Kindle device, you could choose to read with, your, read with Kindle and open it up on your Amazon account through Kindle. Uh, return Early, if you're finished early, it's recommended to return it early. That way, if anyone's waiting for it, they can choose, uh, then they'll be able to get it sooner. Renew loan, uh, you would only be able to do a few days before the time expires. But if no one is waiting in line for it, you can click to renew the loan. One of the benefits of Libby is there are no fines. It returns automatically on the due date. That can, however, be occasionally a problem if, say, you're very close to finishing a book. You can't choose to keep it a day or two and pay 10 cents. You do have to because it will return automatically when the time runs out. If you notice here, there's a cloud to the right of the title. The cloud means that the item has not been downloaded. Libby automatically sets it where you can only download on Wi-Fi. You can change it in the settings to allow you to download to data, which uh, feel free to contact the library if you'd like more information on doing that. But if you click on the cloud here, then I can download it. Most of the time, if you're already on Wi-Fi, it will just download the item automatically. Or if you have it enabled to download on data, it will do that automatically as well. Your holds, you can click on the button up here um, to check out your, to look at your holds. This shows the items you currently have on hold. If you click on this button that has the little pause there, that will show you a little bit what, that will show you what the item is currently looking at. So a pretty long wait list for this hold. You can also manage your hold which would allow you to suspend your hold. So if you have an item that's going to be available soon, but you're not going to be able to get to it for a while, you could purposely choose to suspend the hold so that it would keep your position in line, but wouldn't trigger you as next until, until you got closer to a certain time. So if you're going to be on vacation or camping and you won't be able to get to it, it could be convenient to suspend your holds. Alternatively, if your hold becomes available and you're not ready for the item, there is an option to deliver later. This is basically suspending the hold, keeping your place in line until a certain point, but um, not yet checking it out, letting someone else move ahead. That can be convenient, especially if you have multiple holds or if you're listening to a pretty long book or reading a pretty long book at the time. So that's some of the basics there with, with navigating. Feel free to contact the library as well if you have more questions. The last section I want to show you is the three bars in the middle. This is your settings. This is where you can go in and edit things. For example, I can add a, I can manage cards. I can add a library. Um, if I have another library there, I can manage cards. I can add another card. So if you have two couples sharing the same device that want to have two separate accounts on there, it's an easy way to, to do that. Or if you're a snowbird who has a, a residency somewhere else, then you could also have a library card in both places and you could manage and go between the cards there. Your settings as well has various options. For example, read books with allows you to change it to a Kindle. 
Um, you can also change your download rules if you want to access it, if you want to change it where you can download on data, for example, or only books of a certain size. There's also uh, manage notifications options, which I highly recommend doing after you've downloaded Libby. This allows you to choose what it is you want to be notified for on your device, or on the case of a computer, your email, and what you want to know about when you log into Libby, and what you don't even care to know about. For example, I want to know that holds are ready, so that I can quickly check it out. An important thing to know as well is that you have three days to check out an item when the hold becomes available. If you miss those three days once, then they will put you at the top of the list, check it out to the next person, and you'll have another opportunity. If you miss that twice, then your hold will be removed and you will have to wait in line. Some holds can be quite long, so it's definitely recommended to keep an eye on your holds, or in the case here, have a notification to tell you when your hold is available so you can choose to either defer that hold or check the item out. If you have further questions with how to use Libby, feel free to contact your library. We deal with Libby questions very regularly, and many questions we can answer over the phone, or you can bring your device in and we can show you how to access, or how to manage and navigate in various ways. Thanks for listening.